Now, going back to the early 90s, um, the majority of my mature bucks and my oldest bucks have been shot in the morning. And I love hunting in the morning. There's nothing better than hunting a toe-numbing, cold front morning in late October, November. Now, that being said, that doesn't mean that I hunt every morning. This happens to be September 27th. We had a major cold front blow through. It's about 17 degrees cooler this morning than it was yesterday morning. We have clean air, fresh air, rising barometric pressure, and the mature bucks are on the move. Now, normally I wouldn't sit in the morning during this time of year. Most of the mature bucks are already back in their bedding areas by the time you get into a stand. So if you get into an area where the bucks are, there's a good chance of spooking them. If you get in close to feeding areas where they might be in the morning, you risk spooking them and destroying your evening hunt. And the evening hunt in the early season, late season, October lull, is certainly a premium. So I place a high priority on hunting the evening during those times. And then once we get into the pre-rut and rut, I love hunting the, uh, the morning time and, and looking for those big cruisers. Now, mature bucks. They love moving when the cold temperatures are cooler. I've experienced that, and I think it's safe to say that um, all morning long during the rut, if you, you might have a day where it's even getting 70 degrees, but that morning temperature might be 50 degrees, 48 degrees, and sure, it's a warm day, but I, it might still be in the 50s by the time it gets noon. Some of those times where it's 26 degrees in the morning, it might be 50 degrees at four in the afternoon, but it might still be in the 30s by noon. So I love hunting the morning hours. You get a lot of great time when the bucks can be on the move. And so great time. Now this happens to be you know, an early season morning sit. We're 200, 300 yards away from major food. And then we're 200 yards from bedding this way and then bedding down this way. And you know, really we can get into this area. It's a transition area. We have a safe approach on this side. We're on a ridge top, so our wind is blowing off the side. I don't hear anything yet. So anyways, we were kind of interrupted there. But uh, it is a good morning for deer movement. We're two and a half hours after daybreak. We just had, I don't know, it was five or six. I wasn't counting. I was looking back there for a buck coming. Now, I don't see one. but. Uh, but anyways, we're in this transition area. We're not on top of the deer when we come in. We're not spooking them out of bedding areas. And then I'm still looking for a buck back there. But um, so kind of a limited area where I might hunt in the early season in the morning, but it has to have those ingredients. I'm not on top of a bedding. I'm a long ways from food, long ways from bedding, just in between. We have a thick cruising line here. Now, when we have these morning conditions, I want to hunt high. These deer just walked by at like 10, 15 feet. Our scent's blown off the cliff over here. They can't smell us um, since the thermals are rising. We have great approach. We approach on this downside of the steep face. We came in, it was quite difficult. I even turned to Dylan and said, remind me not to hunt the stand if there's snow on the ground. It's gonna be slippery coming in. But we have great access, non-invasive access through food or bedding. We can approach up on this top. We're not spooking anything out of this entire draw in front of us. Great opportunity to get in and out of a stand quickly, quietly. This is a great all day sit because we're between major bedding areas, 150 to 200, 300 yards in any direction. And we have major food up there, small food, and then major food down below. So we're right in this thick area. It's a hub of deer activity, perfect morning spot. We're gonna key, especially in morning here in a pre-rut and rut. We'll probably stay away from the stand in the late season because it will spook anything out of here with all leaves down and, and how crunchy it is. But we do like taking a chance occasionally on an early season morning spot. It's a great opportunity. We had a great sit today and I think we might stick around for a little bit longer. The deer are obviously still moving. Um, I think that's eight or nine does we've seen today and it's about time for a buck to show up. So we'll see.